Consider a light source with a velocity u relative to an ether. Now think of a wave travelling from the light source with a velocity v. The resultant velocity of the light wave in the direction of the ether would be u plus v. But for a light ray travelling perpendicular to the ether, it's just v. The distances travelled in some time will denote by du plus v and dv. It seems obvious that du plus v must be greater than dv. But Michelson-Morley found, using optical interferometry, that du plus v was actually equal to dv when counting the numbers of wavelengths. It follows from this that u plus v must be equal to v. This could only be true if u was equal to zero, and we've already said that it's not. To resolve this apparent paradox, the Lorentz transform was employed. From this, Einstein went on to derive special relativity. Let's look at how a basic Michelson-Morley interferometer worked. There's a light source. There's a semi-silvered mirror, or a beam splitter. And there are two other mirrors. And there is a detector or a screen to see the interference pattern. The idea was that when the interferometer was rotated through 90 degrees, the interference pattern would change. The interferometer was on a solid block of concrete for stability, which was able to rotate on a mercury pool. No difference was found in the interference pattern when the interferometer was rotated through 90 degrees. It was an experiment with a null result, but that null result went on to revolutionise physics.